What is going on guys? Got the greasy mustache going. Um, just got out of the wedding a little bit ago and uh, we're actually leaving. My dad and I am picking him up right now. We're headed to Wyoming and uh, hunting some antelope for the next week. Probably do some fishing as well with our buddy. So stay tuned. I'm going to try filming for JWD and uh, the West Ventures channel. Doing some camping hopefully and then uh, yeah, some hunting and fishing, so it should be good. We got a long drive ahead of us, looking at about 13, 14 hours. And we're just leaving. It is currently about 10.30 at night. So hopefully we'll get there by latest 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And uh, maybe get a hunt in in the afternoon. So with any luck, we can kill a couple goats and uh, get some fishing. And it should be a good time. Stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. We're almost halfway through Minnesota, so slowly but surely we're making our way. It's a long drive. Early, early in the morning, so I'm ready to be there. Good to go. Just got the hotel room. Got some stuff unloaded and uh, we're off. We're gonna go drive around some spots, check and see if we can find a goat to shoot. We got an entire week and uh, yeah, hunt an antelope and then hopefully doing a bunch of fishing with Brady. So stay tuned, should get good. So far, one goat spotted. Somewhat close to where we can hunt. We just need him to come across the property line. But we got here early, way earlier than we thought we were gonna, so it's kind of a scouting mission right now to hopefully find a couple, potentially get a chance at next, uh, hopefully the next day or two. Go eat some grub after scouting a little bit, get some Mexican food, hang out. Figure out a game plan for the morning. Food was awesome. Now we're headed to play some darts at the bar. Good morning everybody. It's the first actual day we can hunt out here. Yesterday we couldn't hunt. We still had a group of guys that were hunting where we were going to hunt. So uh, we had to wait till this morning. But Sorry if I sound stuffed up. Um, I don't know if it's... Honestly I don't know what it is. But I just took some uh, sinus medication. And we'll see if that helps. Um, could be allergies. Not sure. But either way we're going to get after it. Um, hunt hard probably all day see all you know hopefully it doesn't take too terribly long but we're gonna keep grinding and uh until we're done i guess see what happens stay tuned it's 45 degrees out it's 51 right now in my truck and uh yeah it's pretty pretty foggy this morning definitely a little chilly got the sweatshirt on and uh yeah, we're gonna rip out of here. Hopefully go kill a goat and uh I still got a bunch of cooking to do for this channel. Or for this video. Cooking or eating good food, it'll be one of them things. So whatever we do, I'll make sure I show you guys. But right now it's kind of just been a run and gun video. So thanks for watching though. There we go. Let's see if we can find a goat. Alright everybody. 
The filming on this video is subpar, so I'm gonna give you somewhat of a background story here. Um, the first night, we stayed in a hotel, went out the next morning, it was super foggy. Waited for the fog to lift, we seen a couple antelope in the area. Um, later on that day, went back, ended up filling my dad's tag and my tag within about four hours of each other. So we tagged out the first day of hunting. Hung out in town that night, left the next day, went over to our buddy, um, oh, multiple hours nice away. Yeah. Fished in town for a couple days, caught some really nice fish. And uh, we ended up spending two nights there in the park. And we camped out. Um, and then from there on, we ended up leaving, headed straight for the mountains. Got up in the mountains, and uh, we had an absolute blast. So hopefully you guys enjoy this segment of uh, us camping out in high elevation. Rise of the sinks. <laughs> Feed the fish. Holy shit, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right guys been slacking on the video videos i should say we're with our buddy brady my dad and uh myself i'm a little nasally a little stuffy but we are way up in the mountains and uh we're just looking for a camping spot we might have found one right here That's Beautiful. Well, what do you think? Yeah, this will work, dude. We'll take a swim. Yeah, I'm excited, man. We are gonna fish like maniacs. That water is clear. Oh yeah. That'll wake you up. The cerveza of the day. <laughs> Yeah, this is cool country. You feel that water? I didn't touch it. Just cold. That'll make you strange. Yeah. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> you pick one? Somewhere right in here, I think. I don't know. Think, unless you think that one's better. I didn't even look at these. So it begins. It begins. We have arrived. We are in the mountains with Brady. <clears throat> and uh, just found a camping spot. And it is absolutely just beautiful up here. Unbelievably beautiful. And we are going to set up shop and uh, fish our butts off. Awesome.
Did you have three one-person tents, or did you have it for two? I got two in there that are two to three-person tents, and I got two of these. So if you want a little bit bigger one or whatever, I got another tent. Yeah, do you know how these rods work? Which one's which? Ah, yeah, you don't remember. Oh, they're probably color court. Yeah, they are. I'm going right here. I'll block the wind for you. How in the F, man? Look how long this rod is. Goofy little bastard. Whoa. Beautiful lake right there. Hello. And voila. As quick as that. <laughs> Good to go. That thing's charged up, so it's good. Camp is set, and we are going to do some fishing. Yep. Brookies and grayling. Oh, oh man. Man. Excited. Yeah. Beautiful, too. That's a good day. Nice weather. All weekend, it's supposed to be like this. I don't know. That'd be cool. I don't know if I did that. Maybe. Oh, Maybe. Because it kind of looks a little rough. There's one sitting right there. I don't know what it is. Looks like a trout. Oh, no, nice no way, dude. Oh, that is so nice that is so sick, dude. Yeah, you might be a gray one. It is. No way. Oh, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That is sick. I can't throw in there until my dad throws in there. That's fucking cool. Dude, that is oh pretty fish. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if, we're, if we're keeping yeah. them, that's like that's good size for this river. Oh yeah, dude. Like for this, That'll work. For this river, like that's. I know it's not fucking oh. massive, but like, oh no, good it's eaters. It's like nice. It's a good size in the So my grandpa always did right there. Time. Yeah. Wow, dude, there's a pile of them. That might not be a bad option either. There's that grayling right here. Hey. Hey. Brady. I caught the grayling. You gotta take a. I gotta see that. That is a wicked looking fish, man. Look at that fin. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Just sucked it down. Oh! Do it again. He's right there. Put it, put it right in his mouth. Him. Here he comes. He's got it. What? what? I, was, I, I could still see the bead. I didn't want to take it out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> Get him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I was just wasn't sure when to set the hook on him. Put it right back 
go in front of him, see if he bites twice. Watch your rod. <laughs> he probably would. He's that aggressive. Just be seeing how aggressive he is. There we go. That's a nice fish. Good eater right there. Heck yeah. fun that is awesome Really, this is really white meat right here, Brady. Much better. Guys are still sleeping, and uh, I'm just gonna make some breakfast. So. Good to ask for more beautiful morning. Got the lake right here. Fishing would have been better if I could have landed them, but what do you do? So make some. I have breakfast burritos, sausage egg, and bacon. Currently, <clears throat> trying to get service on my phone here to get a hold of Lauren because I haven't had like any service. It's super far in between. I still don't. Dang it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Add a little heat. It's not a gentle cap either, that's like a full pour out. <laughs> Spicy but sweet. Is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the little cap. <laughs> Pour it into the cap and then pour it on there. Yeah. yeah. No, it's actually really good. Is it?
Brady, I got him. Oh, dude, that's sick. Yep. Oh, my gosh, dude. Hell yeah. First tiger ever. That is sick. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. Alright. Brown Brook Rainbow Tiger. See what they're all about. There's this too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It is frosty this morning. Chilly. Right. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Literally watch it form. That's crazy. But yeah, I've been slacking a little bit on video. Um, just been hard. We've been busy. Um, fishing has been pretty sporadic. Um, we've been jumping all over. Last night we came back to camp. A couple of Brady's buddies met up with us, hung out, had a fire, did some fishing from camp and uh yeah we just gotta make the fish yet and that should hopefully just put an ending to this video but we uh i did manage to get a tiger trout yesterday which is awesome my first ever i've wanted to catch one of them for years now we were planning on doing some hiking like deep country hiking like six miles back um to some mountain lakes but I just don't think it's going to be feasible this time just because my dad uh, has to get back and he has to work by Monday and we got about a 17 hour drive ahead of us from right here so we're not sure what we're going to do yet. Might just pack it up early today, head back uh, closer to home um, or further in Wyoming, shorten up our drive a little bit and then uh, from there hit the high road tomorrow morning and get back home. but gonna be a long drive it's gonna suck but it's been fun it's been beautiful out here can't thank Brady enough for taking us out and uh, yeah anyways whatever we do uh, we'll catch you guys in a bit that's actually our camp right there beautiful sun's just coming up oh and it's bright That scenery never gets old. I'm not looking forward to leaving. I do miss my family a lot, very much, but besides that, if I could bring them out here and do this, oh man, I'd definitely love to. I will eventually.
Meep. Meep. talk to Lauren. The girls are being a little hectic, but she's surviving and I'll be home in the next day, so heading back to camp. Talk to the guys, see what they want to do. Trying to break in camp. We only stayed out here for two nights, but it's been uh, pretty awesome. I just seen two mealy bucks too. Nice. I have not seen an elk yet. I'd like to see an elk, but there's still a bunch of search and rescue coming in here too, so. Hopefully they find them one way or another. Give everybody some closure. Some pretty crazy terrain up here. Yeah. Camp. It's gonna suck. Baby's still sleeping. Oh, I lied. Morning. Morning. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. Shells are worst part about leaving. What's that? So the worst part about leaving is like playing Tetris trying to get everything back to where it was. Little mountain lake water special. <laughs> Honestly, that water doesn't. Oh, it's crystal clear. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good coffee. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> Successful trip. Oh yeah. A lot of fun. You like seasoning salt? Yeah.
really soft. Really soft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All bones. <laughs> Opinion. Brook trout, brown trout, uh, tiger, and then rainbow. Try some of this brown. Mm. Bony. I honestly almost like the firmness of the brown better. Yeah. But the taste is, they're both really good. But I think that brown is a little bit more firm. It's a sticky meat to it, it always has been. <laughs> it's weird. Brooks and I have it. It's got the firmness. That's it. Like the... That's it. Yeah. That is awesome. We haven't even tried, did you try a rainbow yet? No. no? It's yeah. It's got oh, the firmness that yeah, that's the brown good. has. Mm -hmm. the, like moist, like the tiger. Oh, I don't know. That rainbow's solid too. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Both. That's good. That brook trout wins for me. Good. Uh huh. Got a sweet ass flavor. A couple bones. Which one's that? Oh, brown. I think it's like brook brookie fins. I think the brook we took a little. Took away. Bye bye, campsite. One last year for all of us. Until next time. Adios. Well. Until yeah. next time. Yep. Get to catch a couple more fish on the way back, though. I'll second that. Waste of a Sunday. I think I did actually stuff a shirt down in it. Sticker for you too before. Yep. Yeah. In? Yeah, I just got the door uh, oh, unlocked on the door. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks again, man. That was fucking fun. Yeah, yeah. it was. Next time. Yeah. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Guess how long? Not too many. Too much. 15 hours and 20 minutes. Well, Wyoming was good to us. We're on the way, maiden voyage back home. About a 15 and a half hour drive. Just stopped to grab some of these. I've never tried these. Peak Fuel. Fresh Melon Re-Energizing Hydration Blend. Five pack, it says. I think they're sticks that you just put in water. Smells good. Well, try one out and see.
improved performance, extended energy, and increased focus. And I'm gonna need all that. Because this drive's gonna suck. Not terrible. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's been about two weeks now since we got back from Wyoming. Um, back in Wisconsin, and we had a blast on that trip. Uh, tagged out the first day with two beautiful goats and uh, headed to the mountains with our buddy Brady. Can't give Brady a big enough shout out. Thank you, buddy. We really appreciate it. Without him, we would have been lost. I mean, we've never been up in that kind of country. And he put us on fish, some really nice fish, and uh, a couple first, some grayling, tiger trout. It was an absolute blast, and uh, we can't wait to be back. And thank you, everybody, Kyle, Julie, and uh, Brittany for the hospitality. It was very nice meeting you guys. You guys are awesome. We had a ton of fun, and uh, as far as I know, they have not found that guy that went missing up in the mountains. Hopefully, uh, I'm wrong, but as far as I know, they have not, sadly. But there's beautiful scenery up there, beautiful lakes, beautiful country, and uh, we can't wait to be back. Next time, we will be spending more than two nights in the mountains, because we had a ton of fun, and the campsites were just immaculate. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little West Ventures video of our uh, Wyoming adventure. And uh, there will be a lot more content to come. If you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe. Click that bell to get notified. And uh, we'll see you guys shortly. Thanks for watching.